Ooh, here we go. Battle for Olympus. Complete event challenges to earn the winged victory, mercy, legendary skin, and other fun cosmetics. Champions of Olympus battle for immortal glory. The top champion will have a statue made in their form. So, for those who don't know, basically, whatever character has the most amount of kills, uh, at the end of the event globally, we'll get a statue of them on Ilios. Go to challenges. Okay, so what do we got for challenges? Uh, win 10, win 6, 300 final blows is Poseidon or Macho. 300, dude, 300 for each? And some voice lines. What? Dude. Patch notes, January 5th, 2023. Battle for Olympus FFA has been added. We've already gone over that game mode. I didn't play it for very long, but honestly, it's a little underwhelming. Um, 2023 season competitive of Capture the Flag on January 10th. Okay. All right. So we got some hero updates. Number one, Jonker Queen. Adrenaline Rush now heals for the remaining wound damage when the enemy dies with wounds on them. So basically, in the past, if you hit someone with a knife and it normally would do like this 19 healing, if they died right away, you'd get nothing off of it. But now you would actually get the heal, which is kind of nice. So... I wonder if it's instant or if it's still over time. It's an instant heal? Might have to test that. Carnage, now this is cool. Carnage cooldown is now reduced by two seconds for each enemy it impacts. So if you hit like two, three people, you could end up having your Carnage back up very, very quickly. That makes Joker Queen able to like actually tempo. In a fight. Jagged Blade, thrown impact damage reduced from 80 to 50. I, I really don't like the whole idea of like buffing one thing, nerfing another. Like, I, for a character that's as weak as Junker Queen is right now, I don't think that that's the right play, but. And, and it's such a hard thing to hit. I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of that. Thrown direct impacts now and add a 30 damage wound to the stuck target. Oh, so they gave it back. Okay, so they. Ner okay, never mind. All right, may I take it back? So they removed the 30 burst damage and replaced it with 30 bleed instantly. So is, is that stack? So you get the normal 19 bleed plus the 30 burst? Because that would actually be pretty good. Stacks with wounds. Yep. Yeah, okay. I could have just read, kept reading. Um, but I, I, it says returning jagged blade hits. So maybe it doesn't stack with the same target though. We'll have to see. Um, but those are actually some pretty chunky buffs. Uh, I actually think that this could make Junker Queen pretty good. Uh, I think Junker Queen actually could be pretty good with this. The only thing I think stops Junker Queen is either Roadhog or Arissa, who are still the number one and number two right now. So, Zarya, energy uh, degeneration reduced from 2.2 to 2 seconds. Okay, that's nothing, but it's something. Uh, delay before enemy degeneration begins after gaining energy increase from one to two seconds. Okay, that's actually somewhat sizable. Um, basically, you keep your charge up a little bit longer. That's really not a big buff at all, but it's definitely a small little micro buff, which is nice. Brig, I'm actually surprised. Brig got a, a shield health increase from 250 to 300. I actually think Brig is slept on right now. I think Brig's actually pretty decent. The only reason she's not played um, that much is she doesn't really do well in the current meta, but could very easily, if like we went to a full Ramatra meta, do very well. Or, now that Junker Queen got buffed, Lucio Junker Queen could see it return. Uh, and Moira, damage... Wait... Dealing damage with Biotic Orb now restores a small amount of Biotic Energy. Oh, so there's no reason to use the Healing Orb anymore. Pog. That's cool. Uh, bug Fixes. Fix a bug with souvenirs. Uh, okay. Uh, anything, anything useful in here? Uh, 
Not some players who escape the map boundaries. Some players could get stuck. Wait, did they remove? Wait, did they remove the bell spot? Oh no! There was so many good memories there. Uh, areas where abilities could be eaten by the environment. Wait, is that like my junkrat trap spot? I wonder if that uh, I wonder if that got fixed. Um, let me see. Anything else? Fixed Guardian Angel, sometimes allowing her to escape Ramatra's Ravenous Vortex. Okay. Uh, fixed an issue where Pulse Bomb was not, would not damage Tracer if it was stuck to an enemy. That's good. That's a good fix. And I also heard, uh, I heard there actually is one more pretty nice fix that I think a lot of people will be uh, very happy to see. And Hanzo got buffed. And they removed the recoil. No more recoil, Hanzo. So, uh, patch is a little small, um, but we're actually supposedly getting another patch, I guess, before the end of season two with the hog changes. Listen, man, dude, the hog, the hog spammers, dude, honestly, the hog spam is getting annoying. They, they actually communicated and said, hey, the, ho the hog stuff's coming later. They always said it was coming towards the end of the month. Is it, what's today? The 5th? It's not the end of the month. It's not the end of the month. So, hog stuff's still on the way. I'm excited to see what that looks like. Little disappointed that uh, this patch is so small. Um, but hey, it's something at least. Uh, I'm excited to see how Junker Queen works out because... Actually, let me go back in the practice range. The Junker Queen stuff's pretty cool. So this is a regular cooldown. So for eight seconds, see my cooldown is now in eight seconds. What if I hit multiple targets now with Carnage? Oh, I got one actually there. It went down to six. Went down to four there. So because I hit multiple targets, I got it down to four seconds. That's pretty good. Especially if it's like a grouped up team fight, you get three people. Two second cooldown for that? That's awesome. That is an awesome buff. I think that'll be a lot of fun. That'll be a lot of fun to use. Really keeps her tempo up. Plus, you also apparently get a 30 dip or a 50 point, no, 30 healing instantly. So let's take a little damage. So if I stick someone with this knife, Wait, that was if they died, right? <laughs> Not bad. I think the, the direct knife one isn't going to be as impactful, and, and she does lose out quite a bit not being able to hit those chunky knives because they're so, so hard to hit. Uh, but the carnage change and the getting wound damage, even if they're dead, so you still get the healing, uh, will be very nice. I'm I'm very I'm very much looking forward to playing some Junker Queen and seeing how she feels. So, Retro, you might want to grab this for uh for thing that goes out. Apparently, sorry, it's gonna be Twitter quality, so it's gonna be kind of scuffed. Apparently, the Junker Queen axe thing uh <laughs> works on railings. <laughs> And and monitors as well. So if you hit if you hit a railing with it or the computer computer monitors, it just instantly resets the cooldown. <laughs> Junker Queen about to be so OP for the next. Nah, they're definitely gonna. They, dude, they're definitely gonna. They're definitely gonna lock her out of ranked or, or lock her out of the game. She, By the way, I didn't change any settings. Yeah, see, she just went to eight seconds. Yeah, Junker Queen is about to get the uh, uh, the the Torb and the the Bastion and the May treatment. Good luck. Oh man, that's bad. Aaron tweeted this earlier. Said today's balance patch is a bit lighter than usual because some of its planned changes were pulled forward to the mid-December patch. So remember the hotfix? Um 
some of the changes I guess have been pulled were pulled from this patch and pushed up early. Also, a friendly reminder that the scheduled changes to Roadhog are not part of today's patch and are slated for mid to late January. Everyone was everyone's gonna be up in arms like, what happened to the hog change? They always said it was gonna be towards the end of season two, late January. Chat, when Blizzard Blizzard just got back from vacation. When we say they're lazy as it was fucking Christmas break. Touch some grass. They went on Christmas break. Like, they go on Christmas break, like, like somewhere around, like, three to four days before Christmas. Remember there was the, um, uh, the, bo the what's it called? Uh, the build a map thing. The build a map on s stream. They did that. With break had already started. Then they come back. I don't know what day they go back officially, but I would assume it's the third. A lot of places go back on January third. Today's January fifth. How the f would Hog be ready to go in two days? There's no way. Like, listen, I'm all for jumping on the the fucking fix your shit train, but like, there's a there's a time and a place, and over the holidays, they're like the devs who work at Blizzard are not the front the problem it's like there's other problems higher up that cause a lot of this bull that doesn't mean they shouldn't get time with their families like that's just touch some actual grass at that point like i'll i'll complain all day long about freaking being broken not nerfing sojourn properly you know hog being a menace i'll i'll complain all day long but i there's a reason why i don't do it around this time of year because they Did should have time to talk to their family stare. that just she and hang out with their family that's just time for weird. a rampage Introducing Battle for Olympus, a limited time free-for-all of mythic proportions. From now through January 19th, we're introducing an all-new game mode, Battle for Olympus. In this limited time free-for-all deathmatch, heroes go head-to-head, -head wielding the power of Greek gods, goddesses, and creatures. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pause alerts here for a sec, sorry. Uh, Battle for Olympus will feature seven heroes that get special powers when they activate their divine ultimates that stack new effects on top of the ability. Alongside their divine ultimates, heroes have unique interactions with one another as they ascend from mortal to myth in the Battle of Olympus. That sounds fun. Here's a lineup of each team and their special powers. I'm gonna close out of this because I can hear it in the background. Divine Annihilation for Poseidon Ramatra. Ravenous Vortex is a large whirlpool that pulls in enemies then launches them upward. Pummel throws target Sorry, Pummel throws large water blasts that deal more damage and travel further. Holy shit. Uh, Zeus Junker Queen, Divine Rampage, lasts 20 seconds. Damage done with Scatter Gun has the chance to apply additional lightning damage to her abilities. Minotaur Reinhardt, Divine Earth Shatter, lasts 20 seconds? If you get shattered, it you get shattered for twenty seconds. Dude, you could push you could push that to live, and Ryan probably still wouldn't be good. Um, <laughs> he heals when he charges and slams an enemy into a wall. Uh, charge can pin up to three targets at once. Charge cooldown is reduced to three seconds. See, see, these are the buffs I'd like to see. Uh, wall slams deal wall slams deal lethal damage. Extend the divine power. And set the next cool charge cooldown to 0.5 seconds. Oh my god, that sounds awesome. Uh, Cyclops Roadhog, Divine Whole Hog, lasts 15 seconds. Greatly increases your size, gaining 600 health. Hurl boulders that deal massive damage instead of his normal ultimate fire. Melee deals 5x damage and push enemies away. Okay, I think Ryan honestly sounds like the best one. Um... Farah, last 20 seconds, can move during the ultimate ability. Rocket launchers fires three-headed rockets. Jump jet fuel consumption is greatly reduced. Kills heal Farah and extend the duration of this effect. Actually, Farah might actually be the best one. Holy hell. Um, Widowmaker, divine infrared sight. While scoping in, enemies look at you and turn... Wait, while scoped in, enemies looking at you turn into stone. What? Wait, wait, what? Hermes Lucio, Divine Sound Barrier, lasts 20 seconds. Always able to jump again after jumping off a wall. Boop, 
can always knock enemies into walls for extra damage in a short stun. Attack and move speed greatly increased. Infinite ammo. Um, be the victor for Olympus. Immortalize your favorite hero through a little friendly competition during the battle for Olympus. The hero with the highest number of kills overall from the event will have their statue placed on the Ilios Ruins area map, sorry, arena map, to commemorate their victory. So I'm guessing this is like the capture the flag and stuff one. Check out Overwatch Twitter regularly to stay up updated on the current Battle for Olympus leaderboard and standings. Free rewards and sh new shop content. You can com complete special rewards for free challenges throughout the Battle Olympus event. Unlock voice lines, player titles, and work your way up to the legendary Winged Victory Mercy skin. The shop will include new cosmetics and new bundles you can buy with your Overwatch coins. Gotta plug it. See you on the battlefield. Jump into the Battle for Olympus now on January 19th to earn your free rewards and fight for your hero's statue on the Ilios Ruins Arena map. Regardless of your patron, or patron myth, make sure to have fun, give it your all, and claim victory for your team and hero. Okay, okay. That's, uh, something. 